In this video, we will learn about the binomial cumulative density function on your TI calculators. This button on your calculator is actually a function that will help you to solve some binomial distribution problems. It looks like this, and what it stands for is binomial, for binomial distribution, cumulative density function. So remember that binomial distribution situations are when you have an event that either can have a success or a failure, or a yes or a no. So there's only two possible outcomes in every trial. In order to use this function on your calculator, you need to know the number of trials that happened and the probability of success for each trial. So for example, if we're talking about flipping a coin, we need to know how many times did we flip the coin, and if it was a normal coin, which would mean that the probability of heads, or success, is 0.5. So these are the two things you need to know. You also need to know what you actually want to find out by using this function on your calculator. The cumulative part of this function means that it can help you to figure out the probability of getting at most a certain number of successes. So for example, what if we had a coin that we flipped 100 times and the probability of getting heads was 0.5, but we wanted to know what is the probability of getting at most 40 heads? So the probability that x was less than or equal to 40. So that's like saying, what's the prob probability that we got one head plus the probability that we got two heads plus the probability that we got three heads all the way up to 40? And actually also including the probability that we got zero heads, no heads at all. So instead of figuring out what's the probability that we got exactly 40 heads, this tells us the probability that we got anything up to and including 40 heads which is sometimes the question that you want to know the answer to. If you wanted to know what's the probability that we got exactly 40 heads, you would use the binomial probability density function, the one with a P instead of a C. So let's see how this works. You go into your calculator, into the distribution menu, which you get to by putting second and then variables, and scroll down until you see binome CDF. It might be a little bit ways down. Okay, so it's right after binome PDF is binome CDF. Click enter. Now we need to say the number of trials. In this case, we have 100 coin tosses. The probability of success for each trial. In this case, it's 0.5. And the x value, which is how many successes, up to how many successes do we want the probability of that happening? In this case, we're typing in 40. So we're going to figure out the probability that we got up to 40 heads in our coin toss. And we got an answer of 0 0.028, which is about 2.8% chance that we got 40 or less heads. Now, what would happen if we changed our question slightly? And let's say that we wanted to figure out the probability of getting, at most, 90 heads. So this is like asking, what's the probability that we got zero heads, one heads, two heads, three heads, or all the way up to 90 heads? Basically, anything except 91 through 100 heads. So we'd want to go back in to our menu and find the binomial cumulative de density function button. And we're going to only just change this last number and make it be 90. And go down to paste. Now, before we hit enter, you should think about, do you expect this number to be bigger or smaller? This was the probability. It was about 2.8% chance that we would get 40 or less heads. That's not very much. Do you think it will be bigger or smaller? So we click this, and we get actually 1. And it could be that it rounded that, 
But if we think about it, one, which is about 100, or it is 100% chance, makes sense. It should make sense that this number went up because as we increase this number here, we're only increasing the possibilities for the number of heads. And if you flip a coin 100 times, you're probably going to have 90 or less heads. It's very, very, very unlikely that you would get exactly 100 heads. I would say that this probably isn't exactly 100%. Actually, it could be that the calculator rounded it, but it's probably something like 0.9999999. So that's how you can use the binomial cumulative density function button in your calculator to answer the sort of questions where you're trying to figure out what's the probability of at most some given number of successes.